We're back with another episode of Nails and Cocktails, and today we're going to talk about why my YouTube channel failed when it was originally pretty successful in the beginning. Spoiler, this is a continuation of a video that I filmed and then just threw in the trash because I did not feel good about myself. My hair was so long, so I chopped it all off and I feel like a new person. So let's get into the nails and then we're going to have a drink and try them out again on the other hand. I started with a full coverage light pink for the base and then I went in with two coats of a pink glitter gel for the French tip. I used a bigger pink glitter gel to ombre near the tip for some extra something something and then I took a medium liner brush with some black gel art paint and lined the French smile line. Then add a small dot in the top and bottom center and two marks on the sides below the French line and I'm just connecting these lines with some wide curves before adding top coat. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This looks like a really disgusting combination, but I promise you, it's amazing. Some Trader Joe's vodka, because we love Trader Joe's. That's good. <laughs> and then you need orange juice and the, the cool blue Gatorade. Because there's some other one, the blue cherry or something. That one's gross, we don't want that. So you're gonna do some Gatorade and then a little bit of orange juice and it's gonna turn a really cool color. That should be good. I don't have a mixer. Cheers. It's so good. So I started YouTube a very long time ago. So I was filming these videos and I was putting them on YouTube but wasn't expecting anything. Horrible, they looked horrible. I didn't know anything about nail art. This was a way for me to express myself without like everyone I knew knowing. I was just having fun with it. I didn't care where it was going. One of the big things about YouTube is, you know, copyright. And I had a really hard time putting music on my videos and I wasn't comfortable with my voice because everyone used to make fun of my voice all the time. So I wanted music for my videos and I had really crappy like <laughs> elevator music put on all my videos and, you know, just trying to find like the royalty free stuff. And then one time this person who makes music approached me and they were like, hey, we like your videos, the style of your videos. Do you want to use my music on your videos? Like for free, no strings attached, you can use my music. So I listened to it and it was like elevated ele ele elevated elevator music. Like it was still ele elevator music, but it was much better and nicer. So I agreed and I put his songs on all of my videos from then on. Well, then I made the paint splatter tutorial and as horrible as this video is, for some reason, people took a liking to it and it was my first real viral video. It started getting, you know, thousands of views then hundreds of thousands of views then millions of views. And I was just like, I didn't honestly, I didn't even know it was really happening. So I just partnered with YouTube. I was making probably like <laughs> a couple dollars a day on YouTube, which is more than I make now. <laughs> but then that video took off and it just got so many views that I was making like a lot of money. But then when I saw like the money coming in, I was like, ooh, I could do something with this. And that's when I got an email <laughs> saying that I stole this man's music. And I was like, what the heck? Like he gave me permission to use it. So I contacted YouTube and I was like, hey, here's like his written permission for me to use his music. Like, what is this? Like, this is my content. He offered his music and I used it. Like there's no copyright here. And back and forth, back and forth. He would not respond to me directly, um, but YouTube sided with him and he got all the residual income after that. And it wasn't for another like two years that YouTube made it so that you could split the video or the visual and the audio so that I could start making money on the visual part of it. And then at some point they took that away. So I was just like really genuinely upset. Like it was such a gut-wrenching blow to like work your way up to something that you didn't even know could be a possibility, especially back then. And there was just so much potential and I was so excited. And then I see like th this high just like go all the way down and like, the video was getting so many views. It was up to 15 million and almost 20 million. And I was like, this man is literally getting all of the money from it. Like thousands and thousands of dollars from allowing me to use his music and then claiming copyright. But yeah, it was a very scammy situation. I 
shut down and I didn't really post consistently. And if you are trying to do a YouTube channel, the only thing that matters is consistency. I honestly don't believe your content matters much at all because if you are consistent, people are going to watch whatever it is you're putting out there. I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at you. I'm looking at uh, my phone. What was I talking about? So that's why my YouTube channel fails. <laughs> I drank that way too fast. But perfect, let's get into the painting portion of things so we can see how easy this nail design really is. I film the nails being done and you can see them here. Oh, I didn't turn the camera on. French manicure. Just gonna take the brush. Yeah, not too shabby. I mean, first coat doesn't matter as much because you're just gonna do a second coat and you can always make the second coat prettier than the first coat. Wow, this looks terrible. Wow, that one was so good. The drink? The nail. <laughs> the drink was really good too. I wanna do it. You want one? Yeah. Can, can you make me another one? Yeah. With all this stuff? Are you gonna try it? Yeah, I'll try it. He's gonna try it. It could be way worse. It could be way worse. Where's the stir? I didn't bring one, I just did some ASMR and shook it in front of my microphone. Thanks, boyfriend! Should I leave here? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. It's in the way. No. All right, we're looking lovely. In we go. I may have gotten some on my skin, probably why I don't. Oh. I don't. <laughs> Probably why I don't typically use gel <laughs> when I'm doing this slightly intoxicated. Help! I'm in my skin, you paper towel. Thank you. Oh, no, I have one. <laughs> okay, first you clean yourself because you're more important. So when you get gel on your skin, you take that off. Take it off. I don't know if you can see how dirty my table is. It's not dirty, okay? It's just a lot of nail products that don't come off. <laughs> I went in with like a pink shimmer and now we're going to go in with um, pink glitter. Ah! And then this is like a fade, so just at the tip and then fade it up. Perfect. Now I used to do the fun part. Take some paint and you put it on your professional palette. And by that I mean a cheap old plastic cap. <laughs> I feel like I'm so close to you. Like it's such a like illusion. I could just like, so don't forget to load your brush properly, you know, wiggle it around in there, make sure all the bristles are loose and uh, and free to wave around. Pinky first because, you know, less to mess up. Oh, not so great. I would say consistency is definitely my weakness in this set and my um, whole life, apparently. But when it's out, give it a nice cure, you can, oh. I should have cleaned it up before I cured it. It is what it is. What? That's the best line I've done all day. Literally perfection. Oh, that's a little thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Um, execution is down here. But I feel good about it. It's okay, when you take stuff away, you can always put it back, but if you put too much, you could still take stuff away. I mean, from far away, tell me you can see a difference, because I don't think you can. Top coat. I hope my microphone is good. I got a new microphone and it's on my shirt. I've never worn one of these before and the wire is just like inside my shirt. And it feels weird. I just feel like top coat fixes all of my problems. I don't have a ton of problems anymore. I'm a very happy person. Here is the final result. I mean... <laughs> But um, like to be honest, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you would notice it if you were just walking by. You know what I mean? One of those designs you can get away with if you're just walking by. That wraps up, wraps up this episode of Nails and Cocktails. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope if you start a YouTube channel, you don't do what I did, but I hope a better path for you and I'll see you next time on another episode of Nails and Cocktails.